I don't know if you guys are privy to the viral information that's spreading throughout the social media world. And it's about a particular Los Angeles City Council president by the name of Nuri Martinez. And also two of her council members, Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo. And also the Los Angeles City Labor Federation president, Ron Herrera. And they were caught on audio talking reckless about black people, but not just black people, even about Korean people and definitely about some of the European people, even one which was one of their colleagues. They had talked about him as well. I'm bringing out this information just so black people can understand this. That believing that you're going to have an alliance with certain people, it's just not going to happen. Your alliance is from within. It's with one another. That's where our alliance begins and that's where our alliance ends. With us and us alone. So I'm going to play this audio and I'm going to break down some of the things that they're saying. Even though it's simple and plain what they're saying. But this audio is basically chopped and screwed so that you could hear it in pieces. Instead of me playing the whole hour and 19 minutes of audio of them just being on some foolery. I'm just bringing out the meat and throwing the bones back at them. So we're going to get into this audio family. And I would like to know what do you think about it? Do you think all four of them? should have to resign or even be fired for that matter because in my opinion all of them need to resign because as of now only the council president nuri martinez has resigned allegedly but we have to have our foot on their necks and demand that everybody resigns that was in this co-opted secret meeting and disrespecting our people and that's just the bottom line. And this is why we're going to play this audio. And we're going to go over it. I'm not going to comment on it a lot. But I'm going to comment and bring out the most important things that they're saying about our people. So that we can understand, like I just said, the only alliance you have is amongst yourselves. Exhibit A. In the recording, you can hear the council president, Nuri Martinez say this of the Los Angeles District Attorney, George Gaskin. F that guy, he's with those blacks. And here's the recording. All the, you know, folks, like with that scoring, he did call me, he wants to have breakfast with me. Um, what is taking him so long? I haven't, I just said, hey, we need to talk. He, you supported him from the- I don't worry, I got you. Um, so we heard that clear as day. While her counterpart was talking, she out of nowhere said, F that guy. He's with the blacks. That's disrespect off the top. That's why I keep saying this alliance is not going to happen because we have people behind closed doors saying a lot of different things about black people, disrespecting us, and also blocking us out. Because as we keep going through the rest of this audio, you're going to hear some wow factors in it. Some of the things that us black people that are in the working world say to ourselves, but now we don't have to say it to ourselves because we know it to be true. And in this next bit of audio, you can hear Nuri Martinez tell her story about one of her council members, Mike Bonin. And Mike Bonin, he's a council member, right, that adopted a black child. And basically what she's doing, she's going in on this black child 
that was on a float with them during the Martin Luther King Day parade. And she's talking reckless about what she uh, would do to the child. And basically she called him that he looks like a little monkey. But she said it in Spanish. And here's that audio. It's like the oddest thing. It's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid who's misbehaved. Este niño has no, he's, they're not doing, yeah, no, they're not doing, the kid is bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. Parece changuito. And I'm just like, oh my God. Now, this is her audio when she's talking about one of her council members, black adopted child. She's like, he's bouncing all over the float. And the audio is longer than this. This is just the sound bite of it. She's like, he's bouncing all over the float. Me and my friend thought the float was going to tip over. And then you see, she went on to call to him. Uh, I'm not good at Spanish. Uh, Parsi Chito, which it means he looks like a little monkey. Also, one of the other council members, he went on to say, yeah, if they would have put him off the float, he would have got a beat down. And I'm like, wow, how can you talk about a little kid getting a beat down by people? And even her, this president of the council, Nori Martinez, she talked about her taking the little boy around the corner and giving him a beat down and bringing him back. And here is that audio. It's foul, especially you calling this little kid a monkey. And I saw some comments where some people was talking about it, and they was like, well, she didn't use the N-word. Well, it's still racist behavior. Once again, you have to know who your alliance is with. And here's the next audio clip. Even like a little white kid, which I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Yeah. Se me entiendes? Ven para acá. It's a pinch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here, it's the fourth button. So anyway, it's getting back to redistricting. Yes. Yeah. See, and we understand talk when we see bad kids. What do you say? Boy, I wish I was his mama. i will take him around the corner and whip his behind. But that's beyond that because of the other statements and context that she put in there. Calling him a little monkey. See, those, you can't do that. Thanks to whoever recorded this secret meeting they had. But as you see, they're making jokes about the little black adopted kid. I'll take him around the corner and give him a beat down. Yeah, I'm not going to take that too far out of context, but you calling him a little monkey, we definitely have to hold your feet to the fire on that. And, and we do, people. We have to hold her feet to the fire on that. And then later on in their conversation, you have Nuri Martinez, D. Leon, and Cedillo, and Herrera discussing black political power in Los Angeles and what D. Leon terms the Wizard of Oz effect. Martinez says she sees a lot of short, dark people in Koreatown. Cedillo jokes about the height of Oaxican Koreans and Martinez says she doesn't know what village they are from and says Tanfio whatever Tanfio means but she said that in reference to the people in Koreatown out here in Los Angeles so like I was saying we already know we're not trying to have an alliance with nobody that's not having an alliance with us. All that black and brown stuff, knock it off. But as well, you can see she's even going at the Korean people in Koreatown. This is a typical 
takeover move. We trying to take over. I'm not mad at them, but don't be on no divide and conquer, but then smiling in people's face. That's what you can't do. Now let's listen to this audio. Yeah, that's called Cape Town. That's yes, I see a lot of little short, dark people. Yeah, Puro Oaxacan. Puro Oaxacan Koreans. <laughs> Not even like Kevin, little ones. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't know where these people are from. I was like, I don't know what village they came out of got here, but. And so little orange shoes. Like, so one, 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 I get what we have to do, right? Just massage to create districts that benefit you all. Yep. Right? And the future. Yep. But we got to figure out Mark's seat, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, that benefits you three. Is if the, if, if the African American look at this now that he might or may not be suspended, I don't know what's going to happen. I think if he should be, but anyhow, if he goes away, you mean, you mean resign, not suspended? No, here's you're right. I think yeah, there is there is there is a difference. If, I may, if he resigns, hold on. If he resigns and the African Americans look at this as a hostile takeover because he's gone, there. We all have to figure that shit out because politically they're going to come after. Yeah, but can I say something right now? And this is what I call the the um, yes, the como se llama this guy, is the, the the movie uh, the, the Wizard of Oz effect. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by the Wizard of Oz effect is oh. when you're on the side of the curtain, it's like this big voice. Yeah. And it sounds really big. Really and it sounds like there's thousands of something. And then when you actually pull the curtain. Is that you see the little wizard of Oz? Yeah. You know what? I've never watched the movie. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. All right. It's real simple. You got a hundred people, right? Fifty-two old, of them old, are old, Mexicano. Old, so I feel pretty good them. about it. Yeah. I feel pretty good about my chances of beating your ass. Twenty-five are for black. <laughs> and twenty-five blacks are shouting. And the but they, they shout like they're two hundred fifty. Yeah. When there's a hundred of us, they're, they're right. like it sounds like so ten they, of us. But, but so even if you're listening to that. What did you hear one of them say? I'm trying to get all three of you guys hired. I'm trying to get all three of you guys elected. Why? Because that's where we're going to get the power at. So we see what they're saying. They're trying to get their own people elected. And that came from Herrera, the Los Angeles city labor president he was the one who discussed black politics and power in los angeles see he was already trying to flip the narrative no my goal is to get all three of you guys in office why because now we run all the job world too he's already the president of this labor in L.A. County, in the city of Los Angeles. He's already the president of labor. So he needs to stay in that position. And like I say, for people that's a part of the workforce, we understand how you get blocked out of these jobs, how you could have all the qualifications for a job and get blocked out of a job. So definitely... He has to go, too. Ron Herrera, he has to go. See, so it's just not about these council members. They all have to go, I'm telling you, family. Do not fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Yeah, we're going to keep pushing our reparations, but while we're pushing it, we have to jump on this as well. We can't just let this be a little... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's that's cold. Oh, yeah, F them, F that. No, we have to jump on this, too, and push it on a political level. We have to make noise on this one right here. If you don't, not just you, your children ain't going to eat either. It's going to be a minute. And also, Herrera, he told Nuri Martinez and De Leon and Cedillo that they must maneuver the appointment of a city council seat to someone who supports them after DeLeon rejects his initial request. 
They seem to agree on Heather Hutt. Following a controversial process, Hutt was appointed the council member for Council District 10 back in September of this year. So, all this stuff, you have to be on it. We got to be on everything that's going down. Now, let's play some more of this audio. If somebody slides in, right, temporary or however you do it, right, that person has to support the three of you. Has to support the three of you. And Danny, you know who wants to run for that seat? Reggie. No, I don't. I can support that, Reggie. Reggie was over there with Karen. Who was over there? After I went, after he was fucking sweating his ass off. The one who will support us is Heather Hunt. See, they're in the think tank trying to find all the people that's going to support them so that you can still stay under the stressful conditions when it comes to getting money. They have to go, people. We have to follow this thing through. This man is saying we need to get somebody in there that's going to support you three. So whatever move y'all want to make, we need the people that's going to follow exactly what we're trying to get accomplished. And that is to have power over the money force. Power over the workforce. Because he is the president of the Labor Federation. Don't sleep on this one. So, well, there's certain people who don't merit like us rescuing them. You're a comadre, right? I'm not arguing with you about that. I know, she, you know. Give us who's a comadre. Yeah. 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 She doesn't marry, right? But it's She's not going to marry She's not going to help us. Her district is not the district we can count on. You're saying that's the one to put in the blender and chop up, right? Well, that's what they did. Yeah. See that? They continue to say there are certain people that don't merit like us. Basically, she's going to be a problem. So if council member Nathia Rahman in her district, they saying she's going to be a problem. We need somebody that's going to merit like us. Basically, hey, she needs to be chopped up and put in the blender. So they basically saying we got to get her out the way because she's in the way. See, they're trying to get total dominance. They're trying to get total dominance. And even Bonin, his brother, guess he got the district over there by LAX. They said, we got to get the airport from this his effing little brother, that little B-I-T-C-H Bonin. See, so they're basically trying to just take over this whole Los Angeles this whole Los Angeles and next work they way through California. I'm telling you people, you got to wake up. Don't think for one second that you have alliances. Your alliance is yourself, your own people. So getting back to Marquis, I told Danny, if you want to cut a deal and if you want to, if, if you want to make like fucking boss moves, I would go after the airport. He goes, fuck, I know that idea. I said, tell my Chris, so go take him on his friend. Don't go. Don't go after. Leave him alone. Go get the airport from his fucking little brother, mm -hmm. that little bitch bonnet. Like I, go, what is, I go, I go, what is with the bonnet? What is with bonnet? And I said, bonnet thinks he's fucking black. That guy don't think he's black. He thinks he's black. Excuse I call it the same thing. You see that? They don't even like bonnet. What did she say? We need to get that airport from bonnet. That little B-I-T-C-H, he thinks he's black. I'm telling you, family, this one we need to stay on. We need to stay on this one because they trying to make some major moves. They just happen to get exposed. But if we don't say nothing and leave it water under the bridge, they're going to keep moving. Everybody need to share this message spread this message tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend i 
I'm satisfied. We are satisfied with We're telling you okay. that for Polanco, that's the K 2.5 and amended. We're good with that. So we can live with that. We think it's generous to your guy, Mitch. But we're Why do you keep saying my guy? Well, he's my guy. guy. But, uh, and your guy, Duran's guy. my guy. Where's your but aren't you not cool with that anymore? I needed a fucking I've paper. I don't fucking need anybody to do my job. <laughs> Trust me, all you. these guys, uh, you know, I, I'm good with, look no offense work. to both of you, but look at how hard like, I, work. I do all the work. Look how hard so, I work to not let this be a uh, compare contrast. I thought, to the I thought you guys were okay. You saw like you guys are okay. Like, in, <laughs> fuck, man, you had me fooled. I'm like, oh, yes, yes, it. Dude, I call, we call it the bromance, of, the, of COVID bro, bromance. They go on COVID, yeah, they're like complimenting each other. Oh, and this good work, this, I made it. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't get the memo. I, I distinguish the work. And, and the, now we're back to like battling, so I don't understand. I'm not battling, man. Look at how much I fought to keep him out of this. He's a he's a teamster. I got his support. Yeah. Family. Mitch. Is a teamster? Yeah. That's why this guy that's running from HRE, I already told you, isn't it? Sometimes you gotta bring people a little closer to try to control them a little bit, like sort of like calm the hell down. He, I get it. He's a he's a diva. I understand that. See, they cooking together, y'all. We have to pay attention. They are cooking together. They are trying to cook this thing together. And now, the L.A. City Labor Federation president, he comes back in the conversation, Ron Herrera, and he tells Cedillo and DeLeon and the council president, Nuri Martinez, that they are a little Latino caucus of their own and that his only goal is to get the three of them elected when Herrera says he spoke with CD3 council member Bloomfield. He says he told him he sees all of LA's council seats as Latino. Martinez says, F that dude. This is what she said about Bloomfield. See? So they saying it themselves. It's not me saying it. He said it himself. We see all the seats in L.A. as being Latino. So we have to pay attention. They're saying it plain as day. They're not even using word semantics. They just telling you straight up this is what it is. So we have to get on a bumper. We have to get on board. And this is not just for black people. This is for everybody. They have no alliance to other people. Their alliance is to self. So we have to pay attention and know that we know that, but we need to know that we know that. You know, all this, uh, I mean, my goal in life is to get the three of you elected, and, you know, I'm just focused on that. I mean, we're like the little Latino caucus of our, you know, our own. Yeah. And we have to find, you know, new folks to bring in. I blew and Phil was in here the other day, right? He goes, well, we're trying to create another Latino. You know, why do we have to do that? I go, well, fuck, the way I see it, all of the seats are Latino. What did he say? He goes, oh, you had a point there. <laughs> fuck that. You know, what do, you know, what do we say? 52% of the population is Latino? Yeah. His mentors you know, are the reason we're, we're so fucking very Mandarin in the valley. Right. Permanent. See, these are their words. They're the ones who saying it's their self. They're making all this their self. They said this. They just showed us their whole hand. Now the thing is, what are we going to do about it? When they show us their hand, what do you do? Are you going to just sit back and watch? And after all that, and they got exposed... Council member Nuri Martinez, she issued, she issued a statement to the LA Times saying that in a moment of intense frustration and anger, I let the situation get the best of me. I hold myself accountable for these comments. For that, I am sorry. For that, we do not accept your apology. People, we do not accept her apology. 
And she doesn't matter if she resigns. Think about it. She still has three pieces on the play board. It's like she's the cartel boss, and those are her three minions. And they're still on the play board. We got to get them out. And then DeLeon, he provided a statement to the L.A. Times saying that he regrets appearing to condone and even contribute to certain insensitive comments made about a colleague and his family in private. I've reached out to that person, is what he said. Look at this, family. This is definitely why you don't need DeLeon in there. He said... He's just insensitive about his comments that he made towards his colleague and his colleague's family in a private situation. He's not feeling insensitive about talking about black people and about them trying to take over and talking about Korean people. They're not as sensitive to that. But you're insensitive to your colleague, see? And Cedillo... You got to get rid of his ass, too, because he straight went on there and told the L.A. Times that he doesn't remember the conversation. That's three of them that asses need to go. Now, Councilman Bonin issued a statement calling for the resignation of Herrera, which is Ron Herrera, which is the Labor Foundation president. That's right. We got to ride with Bonin. Get rid of him, get rid of Martinez, and he said get rid of De Leon. But if you're going to get rid of them three, you got to get rid of that one because he's going to infiltrate. You have to get rid of the last one too. You have to get rid of Cedillo because he's going to infiltrate. You know what I'm saying, Bonin? Just because he might be one of your favorites out of the four devils, you still have to get rid of him, too, because he's going to still ride with his group. He already told y'all that. And this is what Bonin said. He said, get rid of them three. And he called the meeting a coordinated effort to weaken black representation in Los Angeles. And that's definitely what it is, to weaken black representation in Los Angeles, to keep your foot on the neck of black people in the workforce in Los Angeles. The tides have to change people. We have to change people. We can't think we can keep having alliances with people that mean us no good. We have to have our alliance within ourselves. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali. Intersection and back street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. Steady living life like I would never see the morning. True shit, man, I'm more than pain, I'm more than stain on sidewalk. I'm more than black skin on my face, destined to be great. Gotta elevate mind. Elevation is the game that I gotta play. Gotta win, gotta find escape to a better day.